My name is Mina Koloska. I'm from Skopje. I'm 19 years old. Uh, I am a student at the Faculty of Dramatic Arts uh, and in the study program for theater and film dramaturgy. Host. These are called jumping ropes. We got them from the Museum of Primitive Sports. He takes the rope from at user 9305. This is jumping. He demonstrates. Hop, hop, hop. Our ancestors used them for fun, if you can imagine. But of course, these aren't regular jumping ropes. Their handles send out an electric shock whenever you stop. This is called keeping tempo, starts jumping. You'll have to do this without stopping. Through this test, the pumping muscle starts beating faster. Your epidermis will secrete liquids with intense odors. Our ancestors constantly reeked like that, but exactly that odor is what's going to cause a change in behavior with Atsuzaku271 underscore. Atsuzaku271 underscore. Jump. All three of them start jumping. Atsuzaku271 underscore walks around them. She observes their movement. From time to time, someone would trip a little and stop. When the electricity hits them, they exhale and shake their palms. Host. Smells like mammal jungle. At Suzaku271 underscore open the third box. At Suzaku271 underscore opens the box. She pulls out a remote controller. She looks at the host. Host. This remote is connected to all three ropes. With pressing each of the numbered buttons, you'll be sending electric shock to the desired Homo sapiens. With each wrong answer, you'll shock the contestant. At Suzaku271 underscore at user 9305. When was the Center for Recreational Homo Sapiens Hunting founded? At user 9305, the decade of the 22nd century. At Suzaku271 underscore. At underscore Mir, name the three holy apostles. At underscore Mir, Apostle Gates, Apostle Hawkins, and Apostle Jobs. At Suzaku271 underscore. Wrong. Jobs is not an apostle. At Suzaku271 underscore presses a button. She turns her head on the side. He gets electrocuted. He screams and lets go of the, ro of the rope. At underscore Mir picks up the rope, continues to jump. All of the vital function lines of at Suzaku271 underscore are moving. Host, towards the audience. The electric shocks are generated not to liquidate the Homo sapiens, but only to boil up the blood. The examinee whose life is endangered or is threatened by pain would instinctively do anything to prevent that. That's why it is important for them to aim to get the answer right. At Suzaku271 underscore. At Google Gates 32. What is the name of the first Homo sapiens of our era? At Google Gates 32. At new user 01. At Suzaku271 underscore. At user 9305. What is the number of the episode Vehicle Vagina? At user 9305. 32. At Suzaku271 underscore. Wrong. She electrocutes him. He screams. At underscore mirror, do you want to be electrocuted? At underscore mirror, no. She's pressing the button for a while. At underscore mirror, falls down on the ground and starts screaming. When it comes to using smells and odors while I'm writing, that just comes out naturally. I never intend on doing it. It just kind of comes with the story. Uh, I have inspired definitely some of the smells of some characters from real life people that I have met, but I also try to make it scientifically correct when it comes to the pheromones and the attraction between Homo sapiens in that way. When it comes to using the archaeological, anthropological, biological, and medical elements in my play inquisition, uh, I used those because plays are supposed to imitate real life. And what is more real than portraying the basic human instincts and nature? While writing my play inquisition, uh, I had to think of a bunch of new terms and phrases uh, that would match up with the time when the play is set, which is in the future. Uh, it is completely normal and expected that people in the future will talk differently than we do now. Uh, there is a huge difference in just 50 years. So 50 years ago, we didn't talk the way that we do now. Uh, and with that in mind, I had to think of a new language. 
to use for my plane position. Before I start writing a play, I always do a lot of research and I never put down anything on paper before I know that it's correct, that it's a fact, or that makes sense. Uh, so I guess that that is sort of my method of writing. When it comes to finding inspiration uh, for writing my plays, I find inspiration about anything, whether it's from people I know, people I don't know, articles I've read. Um, for my play Inquisition, uh, I found my inspiration in the case of the serial killer Rodney Alcala, or better known as the dating game serial killer. Bristo, did you really check? Zoran. You saw that I did before my fucking battery died. Next bus, 7 a.m. Risto. Crack open a window, you need to air out a bit. Zoran. Are you fucking with me or what? Look at this. Points to the window with his finger. White horse shit is falling from the sky. Risto. Well, if you don't do it, I will. Slowly gets up. Zoran. Next thing you know, the entire house will be filled with snow and will most likely freeze to death or something. Sneezes. Risto. Zoran, you're supposed to cover your mouth. Zoran, slightly offended. And you're supposed to say bless you. Risto. Just go and take a shower. You're very, what's the word, intense. Zoran. Shut up, man. It's cold as fuck now. Risto. We've been here for six days and you haven't showered once. You better go and do that now. Zoran. By the time the water heats up, we'll all fall asleep. It's pointless. I'm telling you. Risto. Zoran, the water has been waiting for you on the stove for six days. It has come to a boil. Go already. I'm not suffocating another night. You don't even sweat anymore. Cheese has started to come out of your pores instead. Zoran. No way, Risto. I'm cold and we're leaving in the morning anyway. Risto goes back to the couch and lays down in his previous position. Marco. It could be the phone of some chick in the 80s that's going to spill all of her secrets. Halina. And how would that look like on stage? It's stupid. Vasil. It could be about a mother that kills her stepson because her husband is cheating on her, and no one is willing to pick up the phone and tell him that his son is dead. In the end, he just dies from heartbreak. Kalino. Great, Vasil. That is so original. This for sure didn't happen in Medea. Marco. Could you start already? We gave you some inspiration. Start typing. Kalino. There is no way I'm using the first thing that just comes to your mind. Vasil. Wait, I got it. The phone can be a portal that lets you travel through time. Actually, Aristotle built it as a gift for Alexander the Great, and so the phone goes to every Macedonian ruler. Marco. And maybe still to this day, Alexander himself gives out the orders. Vassal. That's too impossible. Let's be more realistic. Tsar Samuel. Marco. Yeah, you're right. And Samuel is worried by the fast spreading of the measles, uh, because it reminds him of the play of Justinian. Vassal. That won't be accepted well. It would be better if he thinks that the European Union is some sort of a war front and he's giving out attack orders, but no one understands him. Kalina. Enough. If you came here to talk shit, leave. Uh, the people around me are definitely my inspiration. Uh, every person that I ever meet, they have the potential to influence uh, a character in some of my plays or just have them be the character. So really, I just view the people around me as inspiration. Regarding the coronavirus, uh, I really cannot predict what is going to happen to the world of theater. Um, we could all just take guesses and hope for a better future. Uh, but as of now, I have no idea when the whole thing is going to end, and I really have no idea how it is going to affect uh, the theater.